Meantime, it is Friday, so that means we're asking where's Brittany today. We know she is at the solar car challenge where some students are getting a lesson or two in science and speed, Brittany. Yes, you know, the solar car challenge is absolutely amazing. I'm actually in one of them. This is the Shine Runners. We have team captain here, Colby Miller. And how long have you been team captain? You can go. We're allowed to go. Oh, no, we're not. We got a car going by. But no, tell me about your car. <laughs> Here, you got a lot of cool switches. Tell me about your car a little bit. All right, so this is the little red crankbait for the Ben Barber Invasion Academy Shine Runners. And our little cool panel here, this is our little aircraft switch panel. That's like, what would I like to call it? Uh, for the most part, it's our very basic auxiliary switches. So anything that's powered by this 20-volt DeWalt battery right here. And off we go, guys. How exciting is this? How many years have you been a part of the Solar Car Challenge? I have been a part of it for a very liberal two years. A very liberal two years? How does it feel to be the team captain? What does that look like throughout the year as you guys are preparing the car? Well, being one of the captains, it's been an adventure, definitely. What it's looked like for the most part is trying to get a car going. So we've had a car in the shop, a, a classic. So it's a one-seater, three wheels, goes pretty fast. And we've had this thing for a number of years I'd say four years and being one of the captains we've been trying to get a new car going a, a cruiser a four-seater that's what we're in right now right the yes. cruiser yes ma'am so is this the first year for the cruiser for you guys it is so has that been a whole new set of challenges for you guys it has definitely been a whole new set of challenges as you can hear <laughs> so we one of the challenges has been getting a transmission to work in this vehicle. So most vehicles on in solar car challenges, they are direct drive. So the motor directly drives the wheels. It is one set speed. You have a set gear ratio. We wanted variable. We could try to get faster because with the cruiser division, it's a really heavy car. It is double, triple the weight of all these other cars, especially the advanced ones where it's all carbon fiber. So we wanted to try to get as fast as we could go so we could get as many laps as we could get. And about how fast do you think this one goes? Um, Nomar, did you, yeah. do you have? Uh, so I'm calculating. In first gear, we'll go into maybe 30, but maybe top speed, I'd say we could push 60, 70. Wow, well that would be really cool. They could go up to 60 to 70 in there, so hopefully they're going to try that out on the track. But for the Solar Car Challenge, guys, it's about getting as many miles as you can as opposed to as fast as you can be. So they're just going through some of the courses. They have to go through all the safety checks. That's what's going on right now. But this has been really cool. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, the fact that that car can move, nonetheless, go 60, 70 miles per hour is very impressive. And, and what incredible knowledge those kids are, are gaining from this experience. Brittany, thank